I don't know if she's going to say yes since he yelled at her. She really has no standards. Hey guys, it's the Gaming Mermaid and welcome to another episode of The Sims 4 Royal High School. So here I am with the Water Queen and as you can see, she looks really sad because their wedding day was ruined by Layla. So I'm going to go ahead and I think the Water Queen, now that everybody has left, I think now maybe we can just talk to the Fire King and then maybe we can just go ahead and get married on our own free will. Let me go ahead and see if I can actually bring the Fire King here because it looks like he is not coming over here. If all else fails, why don't we just go ahead and travel over here instead? Here we go, finally. Okay, I think the Water Queen's feeling a little bit better. Maybe they just needed to do this on their own by themselves without any craziness. So why don't we go ahead and plan a wedding event. No, we're gonna elope immediately. I think that's what we'll go ahead and do. But before we do that, we can might as well, we might as well be romantic. So let's go ahead and blow him a kiss. There we go. They're looking a lot happier now. So why don't we go ahead and have them, you know what? Maybe we should have them woohoo together. That way they can get in a very flirty mood. There they go. They are on their way. Oh, you can see her dress. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, okay, so it is now about to be nine o'clock. Oh, we have fireworks. Oh, you guys, why don't you go over here and celebrate by getting eloped immediately? Look at them running over. Oh my gosh, here we go. Let's get married to the Fire King. No, where are you going? Water Queen, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's get married. Here we go, finally. Oh my gosh, here they go. They're about to get married with fireworks in the background. How amazing is that? <gasps> Look, a heart firework. That is actually perfect. Look at them. So beautiful. So amazing. Ah, oh, finally, they can have their happy ever after. But because Layla ruined their wedding in the first place, I think we're gonna have to make a proclamation to put Layla in detention in the dungeon. She will be locked there forever for ruining everyone's life and for trying to be evil but of course Layla's not gonna just sit around she has another evil plan up her sleeves as you guys saw in the last episode Multi and Ravenia haven't been getting along as well as they should but Multi did erase her memories so they can start again they can start anew and Layla's actually going to help them in that process because she has some evil plan she's gonna make them think they have a happy ending <gasps> yay we are officially married let's take a picture together and hug it out I think that would be a amazing so amazing so Layla's going to think that they are gonna have a happy ever after but she is going to ruin it <laughs> we made some income while sick yeah about that anyways I think it is time we are gonna go ahead and travel over to Layla's house to lock her in the dungeon well this looks pretty creepy let's go ahead and have the water queen come over here We're gonna knock on the door uh oh she didn't answer. Why didn't she answer? Looks like nobody's home. <gasps> really? Where could Layla be? Looks like she's trying to evade us. She knows that we're gonna punish her by putting her in the dungeon. And it looks like she has escaped. We need to find Layla right this instant. Well, I'm gonna have them go home. We're gonna have to do a search. We are going to request a search for the evil dark fairy Layla. She needs to be punished for her evil doings. So apparently Layla has been hiding here in Von Haunt Estate. Well, isn't that interesting? She's like, they think they're going to find me at my house. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay laying low over here in the Von Haunt Estate. They'll never think to look here because it's a museum. They wouldn't think that I'd be here. And since, you know, there's a club gathering that comes here every so often, they won't think that any evil people will be here. <laughs> so, Layla has introduced herself to some of the ghosts around here. And I also found this, and it says Wander Me. So why don't we go ahead and see if we can find any secrets. Maybe this will inspire Layla to come up with some evil plans. I think she's already lost. <laughs> she's like, let me get out of here. But there is a secret, actually. 
Multi has another secret. We've revealed one of the secrets in the Roblox Royal High episode, but in the Sims Royal High episode, there is another secret that Multi has, and Layla knows about it because, you know, she was always living with him, so she knows his innermost secrets, and he's been keeping the secret for quite a while. And now, Layla's going to use it to her advantage. So, she just needs to go ahead and find this so-called secret. Well, looks like she escaped the maze. So now, we are going to go ahead and explore around and try to find Multi's secret sister. <gasps> Look at this. So apparently, Multi's trying to find common ground with Luna. I don't know why he's even trying to do that. But, look, punish. He said whether they had evil intentions or not, no sim enjoys being punished. What in the world? I don't even know how he has that. I don't even know if this is helping at all. Why don't we go to school? And then after school, we can try and get together with Ravinia once again. I guess Multi was punished for what Layla did because they used to be together. They used to be partners in crime until Multi turned good, but people still treat him like he's evil. Because, well, he hasn't really gotten rid of his evilness. Oh my gosh, she's actually crying now. He is really sad about this. Haha, -ha, well, look at this. I found the Fire King, and I think we should siphon joy into wealth. Let's see if we could try and take the king's happiness away. So you know what? Stop harvesting and please talk to the fire king. He is walking right past the fire king. This is a problem. Multi! Oh my gosh, Multi, are you serious right now? Well, I don't know why, but I can't select the fire king now. He is just escaping and he is gone. All right, well, I'm gonna try and get Multi to get his revenge on the Fire King, whether he likes it or not. He's gonna punish Multi when he didn't even do anything wrong. It was, it was Layla. Ugh, seriously, Layla. Whatever. Let me just forget about Layla and live my own life. I've got Ravinia now, and that's all that matters. All right, let's go back home, and maybe we can celebrate with Ravinia and try to have a normal life, maybe, for once. Oh, <gasps> grades are up! That is fantastic! Yes, except for Malty. But he is feeling really sad, and I was kind of hoping we might find some people in her backyard or something, just randomly walking around, that we can siphon their joy from. But of course, when I need people walking around, there's nobody to be found. <gasps> oh my gosh, look who is here! His name is Anthony Dark. We're gonna do a friendly introduction to him, but um, I think what we're gonna do is we are going to age up Anthony Dark into a teenager, and he will be the, look, he's already evil, <laughs> and we have to give him a, a makeover for sure. Let's go ahead and get to know him a little bit. Who is crying? Are you crying? Can I siphon your joy into wealth? Are they angry? <gasps> I think they are angry. Interesting. Let's see if we could siphon her joy. There's so many kids around here. It's kind of weird. Look at him. <laughs> he is really angry as well. <laughs> yes. Now he's not sad anymore. But she's going to be sad now. Oh, so that. Oh, Amber is here. Huh. I wonder why she's feeling sad. Look at her. Oh my goodness. We're just making everybody angry around here, aren't we? I wonder if I could take her. Oh, I can't. I don't have enough magical connection anymore. Let's ask her to hang out. No, don't leave. Wait, please. Oh no, he's sad again. She's sad. <gasps> you guys, once again, there is another secret. This is multi-secret and she is right here. Maya Hope. I got a comment suggesting to have Maya over here be Multi's little sister. Yes, and I gave her a makeover, kind of. So she's a little bit on the darker side, so we should obviously know our own little sister. Hopefully he doesn't forget to do this. Okay, here we go. I think he's gonna go up to introduce himself. Thank goodness, finally. Oh, so they're cloud gazing together now, spending some quality brother and sister time together. If you guys didn't know, Maya over here actually lives in another household. She was actually taken away and put up for adoption. So she actually lives right next door to the Fire King and the Water Queen with a bunch of random people that adopted her. But she is actually indeed Multi's little sister. We don't actually know who Multi's parents are, do we? If you guys have been watching my Roblox Royal High videos, then you would know who Multi's parents might be. But I will keep that a secret if you don't know, or you could watch the Roblox videos if you want to know the real story behind Multi. But anyways, Layla knows Multi's secret little sister over here. So Layla's gonna get her revenge on Multi 
by taking away his little sister, even though he doesn't really get to see her that often because they don't live together, he obviously still cares about her. And Multi also wants to have his own child. He wants to have a normal life with Ravenia. Ravenia over here is taking a little nap. And I think once she wakes up, we might go ahead and let's sit and chat over here. Um, excuse me? Why is Lilith over here? I think she wants to take her blood away. No thank you, ma'am. Please go away. Rowena, on the other hand, she was feeling really lonely. So she'd do anything to just have a friend. Let me see if we could do a friendly, enchanting introduction. There we go. She's like, hello, ma'am. Hi, I'm Morwenna. I am actually a good light fairy, and I'd love to get to know you. Fantastic. So Morwenna can go ahead and make a friend. So Layla has found where Maya Hope lives. She lives in this house right over here, which is right next door to the royal castle, as you can see. So she has to be really sneaky. Gotta make sure that the royal king and queen don't see her around. But while she's here, oh looky looky who is right here. Let's do an introduction. Oh hello Maya. <laughs> Do you know who I am? I'm Layla. You know, the girl that was always by Malti's side, your brother. Yes, that is me. So technically, we are like sisters, you know. <laughs> so I have this wonderful place that I'm sure you would love to visit. Wouldn't you love to visit Malti? And Maya's like, of course I would. That sounds awesome. Let me go ahead and get my chicken nuggets. Ah, oh, perfect. So Maya, why don't we go back home together so that you can see Malti and you can hang out with him. Yeah, it'll be like a little field trip. Okay, great. Let's travel over with Maya. Okay, Maya, here we are. Why don't we go back home together? Come on inside. Oh no, she did not. Are you serious? Excuse me? Oh, this girl. Oh my gosh, she is so lucky. I'm gonna be trapping her in the dungeon. Okay, Maya, so you want to cause a mess, of course. No big deal. We'll just have you come down here, shall we? Hopefully we can teleport her in the dungeon. Let's see here. She's doing her spells. And let's see. Ooh, oh, where is she? Oh, she is now in the dungeon. <laughs> and poor Maya's like, huh? Where's, where's my brother? Where's Multi? Why did you put me in here? What are you doing, Layla? Oh, don't worry, little one. I'm just keeping you safe, yeah. Multi will be here at any moment, yeah. Don't worry. Poor Maya, she's like, what's going on? Multi, where are you? Help, help. I don't know what's going on. I just have this little piece of clay and I don't know how to get out of here. I hope that my brother shows up. Ravenia is laughing maniacally and she's like, <laughs> Multi will come running right into my arms. He has no choice but to be with me. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at Multi's house, he hasn't heard the news that his sister's gone missing, but he is still very much in love with Ravenia. So I think what we're gonna do, since it is Saturday after all, why don't we ask her out on a date? Oh, she's taking a shower right now or a bath, whatever. So when she is done, then we will go ahead and ask her out on a date, very romantic date. And I think Multi is ready to start his own family. So he's just gonna be awkwardly waiting for Ravenia to finish. Haha, <laughs> here we go. Ask her out on a date. Let's go, Multi. This is your time to finally make things right. <gasps> and I think that means a yes. Uh oh, where should we go? This is where Multi's little sister lives, right? This is where the Water Queen and the Fire King live. This is where Layla lives, of course. So we have to tread very lightly around this area. Maybe we should just go to another world. Why don't we just go to the bluffs? It's pretty, it's pretty secluded there. I don't think there will be anybody around, so they can just be romantic on their own without worries of Layla finding them. All right, so here we are at the bluffs. I'm hearing some noises. It's very strange. Okay, I guess nobody's around. 
Ooh, why don't we light this bonfire? That might be romantic. I mean, it is broad daylight right now, but still. Wow, look at the sun beaming over here. We have this lovely lake over here. We could go ahead and swim here together. That might be romantic. There's a lovely boat over here in the distance. And many, many a bushes to fertilize. Okay, so apparently we need to sit and talk to our date, which is actually not possible. <laughs> Unless there's a seat around here, is there? I don't think so. Well, Multi is here. Let's check on Ravenia. Let's see how she swan does. There we go. They can go ahead and swim some laps together. And he is done. Hey, I mean, cozy up at the bonfire. Oh, that's a romantic. Oh, look how cute they are. Oh my gosh. Let's cozy up at the fire. You know, we just got out of the water, so we're probably really cold and stuff. Let's see what this looks like. Come on, Ravenia. She is floating on over. Oh my gosh. How cute is that? That is actually adorable. Oh my gosh. They're just looking at each other kind of like uh, <laughs> dazed. <laughs> That's so cute though. I mean, if they weren't like completely dazed, it might be a little bit, it might look a little bit more romantic. <laughs> so look at this, you guys. We have the option to tie the knot right here, right now. But I think we should actually change our outfits first. <laughs> that would be great so that they don't look, they're not in their swimsuits. Just try to look a little decent, will ya? Okay, perfect. He wants to woohoo with Ravinia, so that's a thing we should do as well. <gasps> she wants to buy a wedding arch. Well, isn't that pretty convenient? And she wants to woohoo with him as well. <laughs> okay, you guys. Maybe, okay, I'm gonna see where I can put this wedding arch. I was kind of thinking about having them elope right here, just like right outside of the ocean. That would be pretty romantic. Let's see here. Where can we build? Right in this area. So I think we'll have the wedding arch around here maybe right here yeah what kind of wedding arch would a villain have maybe this one okay i think that could work let's see what happens did that count i hope that counted towards your goals well why don't we go ahead and go over here together i guess it doesn't count if you we don't own the lot which is kind of disappointing but it's okay it is a-okay because we're gonna be romantic anyway let's go ahead and blow him a kiss don't walk away multi we are about to get married. She is under a phase right now, so she's always angry, but I don't think multi minds because he's always angry too, so yeah. Okay, here we go, finally. Oh, he's sharing a secret to her, his secret sister. That he wants to make sure that she's protected, so she's like, oh, okay, well, I'll make sure to keep that in mind. I need to meet her someday, multi, you know that. He's like, yeah, I know. Uh, I just, I wasn't ready yet, you know? I, I wasn't sure if you wanted to be with me forever. She's like, of course I want to be with you forever, Multi. Let's elope immediately. That way, we'll be together forever. Okay, here we go. Get married to Multi Darkness. It's happening. It is happening. Oh my gosh. Here they are. How adorable are they? They're just eloping immediately right here. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. She's still angry. <laughs> the perfect evil dark fairy wedding. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, it's just one last thing to do. Just have to exchange our rings. I don't think they had rings, but at least they have each other. <gasps> so cute. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, they're so cute. I think she said yes, and she's taking selfies. I, this is no time to be taking selfies, Ravenia. <laughs> oh, he does have a ring. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's sparkling. How cute. And there it is. They have officially gotten married. Just them two together. That's all they need. Oh my gosh. They are officially married, and the romance festival is in town now. Wow. Well... I have an idea. We can't travel to the romance festival right now, but it is until 1 a.m., which I think will be plenty of time because I have an idea. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. You know what we could do? You know what we could do, Ravinia? Let's go ahead and try for, no, don't yell at her. Why does he do that every time? Oh no. Well, let's try for a baby in the bush. I don't know if she's going to say yes since he yelled at her. She really has no standards. Even though he is super angry and mean to her, she still she still loves him. I don't know why, but here we go. They're gonna try for a baby in the bush. Kind of romantic, I guess, I suppose. Very lovely outdoors. They just got married. 
and they are ready to start their own life. Where, what? Are they done? That was fast. Um, did she? I don't know what happened. Wow, she is so incredibly happy right now. Huh. And our date is officially over, so we got a bronze reward. She looks very happy to be alive. And she doesn't feel like she's feeling ill or anything, so I guess we can go ahead and celebrate. I wonder if she's gonna share the big news. <gasps> They're gonna kiss together. Right on the sunset. How romantic is that? <gasps> so cute. And she's still yelling, but still wants to do romantic things. I don't get it. <laughs> What? What? They were just- Oh my gosh. They were just talking like normal, and now they're fighting? What in the world? I don't- What? I'm so confused. What? He just fight with multi? Why? They, what? they were seriously just talking normally. Wow. Ravenia beat him. Thank goodness. But what in the world was that? I don't even know. Now she's really angry. Not okay. She had a mood swing. But that doesn't mean to fight her, Multi. What are you thinking? Seriously, that just came out of nowhere. Did she fight him? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Apologize to her. What are you doing? Um, I don't think there is trouble in paradise. He's gonna be yelled at by Ravinia. What in the world is going on? This is no good. He's like, what? But we just got married. This can't be right. Okay, he's just gonna escape. He's like, I'm running away. Let me know what you guys think and let me know what you guys would like to see in a future episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to give it a like. And if you're new, subscribe to become a mermaid or a merman. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.